it was never stable and happy. Um, I grew up in a small town in 96, called 96. There's a lot of history in the town. Grew up with parents who divorced. There was a lot of domestic violence in the household. Graduated um, high school, was glad to get out. Came to Columbia, went to Carolina and um, received a gift of my, my daughter, who's now 30. So I moved back home, had two more kids, um, struggled for years, graduated in the top 10 of my class in high school, mm -hmm. but I couldn't find a job that was that would keep me gainfully employed. Mm -hmm. And I also had difficulty just adjusting because of my childhood, you know, learning how to be a good parent. Um, how, you know, just life was hard. Life was very hard. Eventually, it got to the point where I had no job. We were living off of food stamps, about 4.30 a month. I had child support that was coming in once a week. Um, it was $110 a week. And I lost the apartment I was living in because I couldn't pay the rent and keep up the electricity. And um, so I moved back to 96 into a 640 square foot house that was owned by my cousin. The house, we um, there was two bedrooms, but 640 square feet, four people. Um, we had barely running water at times. I would have to put water into the toilet, into the, the tank to flush it. Um, eventually I lost the electricity because I couldn't keep up with the bills and I was looking for a job. I had a car, thankfully, and um, so I used that car. I drove, I knew people in town. My family was pretty well known. Um, but I couldn't find a job. So I just got fed up and um, I felt really, there were times I felt hopeless. There were times I felt, I was angry. I was angry at myself. I'm like, why'd you do this? Why'd you put your kids through this? Why'd you have, you know, your children um, without preparing, you know, being financially stable. And so I blamed myself a lot. Um, blame their fathers. It was, you know, there was a lot of blame, if you want to say, to go around. Um, but I was going to a church. Um, I would travel every Sunday, take the kids, and sometimes on Wednesday nights, go to this church because it was feeding me and giving me hope. And so one day, after the lights had been turned off and I couldn't get them turned back on, um, I just prayed. And um, in, I don't remember what book of the Bible, but um, about putting out a fleece, you know, I just prayed to God. I said, okay. Um, my child support check on, usually comes on Wednesdays. And I said, if it comes tomorrow, which is Tuesday, I'm packing up and I'm going. My child support check came the next day. I packed up the car and the kids. Um, and my daughter stayed with a friend of hers while we, um, but I took the two boys, so I have two boys. I didn't know where we were going except for the church. Okay, we had to carry the cots around every every place we went, so we had the same one each time. So it's kind of like having your own bed. For the past five years, I had been sleeping in the same bed with my mom because we shared the same room. It was a full-size bed. So it was not really enough room for one person, really. Um, so just to have my own little spot was actually, a, it was a relief. Yeah. So, but, and everybody was very inviting. They cooked us homemade food most of the time. I didn't know if I was gonna eat lunch, dinner, or snack at the same time or not because it felt like it was so much. Um, but we had a, it was a great experience and I'm very, very grateful for the things that they have done for us and kind of made me feel like I was somewhat a normal person. Did you understand the strength that it would have taken for your mom to make that stuff? <sighs> Sorry, I'm trying not to cry. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I've seen my mom struggle most of my life being so young, and I knew a lot. Um, being being the oldest, I took on a lot, and she did the best she could. I knew it took a lot for her to, to actually leave and to step out on something, going places that she didn't know anybody. Um, so I did. And at the time, I didn't know for sure. But as I got older, I remember going to her and telling her, thank you, because if she did not, I would not be where I am right now. I probably would have struggled longer and probably would have made the same mistake she did, you know? Um, having us, to me, is not a mistake. <laughs> but 
you know, having the situations and doing, going through the things that we went through because of the fact she had children so early was not something I wanted to do. I learned a lot from what she went through, good and bad. So I do thank her every day for that. That was a huge leap of faith. Can you I guys, say something first? <laughs> did you guys choose the house? Yes. They we, chose the house. Well, yeah, we chose our rooms. Yeah. So it was actually during summer when we went mm -hmm. through this. So mm -hmm. we had summer break. And I'm looking around, I'm like, oh, this is nice. It was really, it was renovated inside. I went to open up the door for everyone. And my brothers picked their rooms, but I picked mine first. I picked the biggest room that was not my mom's. I was like, this is mine. They were like, no. <laughs> so <laughs> it was great to have that space. It was a large room. And I had a, a queen size bed to myself. It mm. felt amazing. Never have I had anything that big before in my life. It came with a dresser. Yeah. I was I was excited. I was like, I don't even have to decorate anything. I don't mm -hmm. care. Like it just looks great. Yeah. So us having our own rooms like that, I, every night I'd go talk to my brothers. You know, in each room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because before it'd be the same room. I had to go talk to them. So um, I would go into one brother's room. We have you know a little playtime and stuff before we go to sleep. And then the other brother's room. He's probably already asleep or he's playing video games or something. And then we all go and pile in mama's room yep. in the mornings. <laughs> jump on the bed with her. She's like, what are you doing? And we're like, oh, I just want to wake you up. You know? <laughs> so, I mean, it was great. We, we enjoyed it. I got to have friends come over mm -hmm. um, for the first time ever. I was not embarrassed to have my friends to come over to the house. Wow. Yeah. So, great relief. <laughs>